Viewer discretion is advised. Nice, hey. Come on. Hurry up. Who are you Find that. I'm going to lie. You run it. Yeah, shut up. Get it. Where's your base? There. Oh, Deeper gets fit. What's on him? Get up. Come on. Look at the door. Lock him out. Oh, the 
Pay it all out again. No, all it goes on drugs and drinks. Oh, That's what it goes on. What do you think? That all the amplifiers get them Look, I live in the black community. I work in it. I know what goes on. You and the uncle, you can't come and tell me something else. I know it all. Now, we'll tell them. We'll turn up there anyway. And we'll go back to Point Pierce and I'll talk about it to the people. Oh. And they'll decide whether or not they want you there. Well, we're going to turn I up anyway. Well, we'll, well, we'll bring another black band there too. Well, we'll see. 
Hey, Bart, you want to do a gig tomorrow night? What? Yeah, that's what it's clear. I'll take this flag in. I just said, Bismarck, Bismarck can take a gig down at um, Town and Ben and then they can bring the truck back. Up on Piers, play up there Saturday night too. It's a idiot, isn't it? Hey, give us that uh, oh, head. Oh, we can give it to them to get John John out of town. Yeah, we'll get money. Yeah, we'll get money. Come on, Bart, let me just cut it away, Dan. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Come on, Bart. Hey, man. Number one, Chris. Yeah, come on. Bart, that's good. Thank you. 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 I'm getting sick of it. Every time we get a job, we're going to end up giving it to them. We're helping the brothers out. They've never done nothing for us. Don't worry, brother. We got the party up there. Yeah, the party. We are not have money here. Yeah. Man ought to get himself a decent bloody job, man. Just a little bit. I just scraped in with a bowl hanging in my trousers. <laughs> Still playing the guitar? I said, we can get together, me and Buck, have a few beers. That's a band anyway, by the way. Oh, not too bad. I'm pretty slack, though. I'm getting pretty pissed off the way it's going, man. Cops hassle us all the time and do gigs. It's not much money, you know. So I thought, I can come up here until I can get a job, man. I'll be done. Think about getting a job in here. Maybe here, or wherever I can, you know. I'll stand down there, brother. I tell you, to be in your boots and these heavy big boots any day. Oh, you better stay in there, Pete. Jack, this isn't a public bar. I'm oh, sorry about this, boss. It's the mate of one I've seen you for donkey's ages. What does he want? I just come to see if I can get a job here. You wouldn't last here ten minutes. You know, I used to work here about 18 months ago. Yeah. But I want your court here. Piss off. That's your attitude, you can shove it up in the back passage. I'll see you later, will you? Yeah, sorry about that, Pete. Let's let it on. Yes, can I help you? Hi, uh, I'm Leslie Stevens, and, uh, when I was a little fella, they adopted me out and um, just wondering how I'd go about finding out my original name. Well, I'm sorry, but we won't be able to issue that information to you. We'll obtain that with the Department of Community Welfare in Grenfell Street mm -hmm. and they will obtain a court order for you to uh, get this information. Yeah, well, uh, 
How long would that take? I don't know. I'd be able to give you the information down there. Right. Wouldn't be any chance of you telling me the last one. No, I'm sorry. We can't issue that to you. Okay. No. So thanks anyway. Okay then. The coppers came around ten minutes before, and the, and the people around the corner knew all about it, and they, and they didn't bother to warn him. That big ears, he'll bust a lot of them up. Wouldn't mind being there either, too, but I'll back him up. Yeah. Leafy yeah. reckons uh, Wagging's working in the yard over your pet. Yeah, but I wouldn't work there again, it's a hole. You know, that's all the ten channel, huh? We're not empowered to tell you your natural mother's name uh, unless we have what they call a court order. Yeah, well, the registry officer told me that. Right, that's what we have to work by, and you'd have to initiate that action at the uh, Supreme Court. And unfortunately, it's a fairly costly affair. I mean, I've got to go out and pay, you know, to find out who originally is. You'd be responsible for that, I'm afraid, yes. There are some details that I can tell you. You're uh, mother was Australian, uh, an Aboriginal woman. Uh, she was born in 1940. Uh, she was in good health at that time, as we understand it. Uh, she was not married at the time that you were born. You were born in the country. Yeah. What part of the country? Uh, in the north of South Australia. And that's about as much as I can tell you at this stage, Liz. Yesterday? Yeah, you only gave a little bit, but yeah. the last one gave you something. But you ate all this. Mmm, nice hamburger. <sighs> Doesn't smell so good. Mmm, well, he's getting really, really nervous. Yeah. He's fussing in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't want to go down the side, did he? Mmm. good. One bite, that's all I'm after. That'll save you a little bit. That's what I'm going to say you. What you say was just a little piece of hamburger. Anyway, a little piece of meat there. Hey, Bob, look below. Can't go enough. There's no candy there. This way. I'm <laughs> 
I'll just come in there to get some booking. I'm sorry, we booked up the... Uh, we're being at Spain tonight. No, there's no band playing here tonight. Yeah, well, it's a band called us, and we're still in for them. No, I'm sorry, there's no band playing. No, we're not dressed. We haven't got one tonight, we've booked out. We're full up. But why don't you go and look for the manager? Where's he? He's in the lounge. In? Yeah, what can I do for you? We're a band from Adelaide. Play them like. I'm sorry, there must be some mistake. How come? Where are they from? They're from Adelaide. Adelaide? Uh, hey, that's your reason that we're not booked in to play them like. Well, is that right? You're not booked in to play them What are you talking about? We've already got our band in tonight. And quite frankly, a local band, I know. Let me make it quite clear. I'm the manager. You are? I appoint whoever I want to play in this hotel. It's as easy as that. And this band is playing tonight. Well, it's not 80 bucks getting up here. Look, it's 80 bucks and a little bit. No, 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 Just hold on. No, 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 I'm sorry that you spent $80. You're the one that's doing all the talking. I'm not responsible for that $80. Yes, um, you are. In no way. You've made a mistake. You've come no, to the no, wrong. No, we've come to the right place. It's just that uh, your mistake. Look, I try and keep a clean hotel. No, yeah, it's I can a clean hotel. Look at that. 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 Continue. Don't get started. I don't know what you've got. Now, let's just keep it no, no, time. No. I'm, I'm saying. Uh, is we, because we are a black band? Is it, is it, is it, is it, is it? I've got nothing against no, you guys. No, no. Yes, it is. No, I've it had is. trouble you around had trouble, this place. You said we're just coming in. Get in drunk. Look, I'm sorry, the case is closed. I'm not talking anymore, and I would, I would like you to leave. We'll, 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 we'll just go and piece it, you know. Just just that is how I would like you to go. Well, we'll come, come back, back here with that. He's a prejudice thing. He's got the other white band to play there. They'd bark like that. Did you tell him you were taking our last mob job? Yeah, we told him, but you know, he just couldn't communicate with us. You know what? You know what? I reckon we should go back in there and just bomb up, up the place. Smash it. Yeah, we can't. Well, yeah, we get locked up. I'll get locked up there. Yeah, we all get locked up. <laughs> yeah, we all. Let's let's go back down there, don't we? No, hey, let's go to the beach, eh? Well, Tommy, gonna come with us too? Hey, you guys gonna play in Palm Beach? No, we're not gonna play down there. Gonna play in there. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't No, I'm trying to point players. I've got to take the truck up. Bart, you coming to the beach with us? No, I want to go home. I can't go out. Like, Bart, you know very well. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, well, then. What we do is just help like a, <laughs> like a poop. <laughs> you're talking <laughs> sick now, you flat nose. Shut up, you cross breed. You mongrel breed. Well, I'm sick of this. If I was going to argue out where you're going to go, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I No charge. 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 No no, no, it's not my fault. I'm going to see what you want to ask out there. Yeah, you want to see what you want to ask out there? Yeah, you want to see what you want to ask out there? Yeah, you want to see what you want to ask out there? Yeah, you want to see what you want to ask out there? Yeah, you want to see what
education department. The department is very concerned about George's absence from school. Did you know that he hadn't been going to school? How many days he'd been missing? A couple of times. He's had assholes down at the school. Kids have been calling him nigger and black. And I tell my boy, you stick up for yourself. And George stick up for himself, what they do? Kick him out of the bloody school. Look, Mrs. Wooden, are you other parents? George getting to school is your responsibility. I am Mr. Wooden. And I've got arthritis. I can't go trapping around the bloody countryside, taking kids to school, get to please the bloody education department. Look, it's just my job to tell you that if he doesn't go, he'll have to appear before the juvenile aid panel. You take him before the bloody juvenile aid panel, okay? Well, if it does come to that, it'll mean a big hassle both for George and for you. What kind of hassle? Well, what exactly do you mean by being sick? Do you drink? Do you have parties like going on like this all the time? Hey, hey. Now listen, you came here as a true doctor about George not going to school. What are you? Bloody well for us to do? No, I told you. Well, you keep your bloody nose out of things that happen in my house. Sure, you have to see like this is going to disturb the child. Where's George today? Is he here? Did you go down the school and check? Mrs. Madonna can't talk in your nose. This is my business here with my ass. Mrs. Wooden. Mrs. Wooden. Mrs. Wooden. Yeah, I thought that was the blatant. Shit, now how we're going to get to where we want to go. We are where we want to go. At the beach. Now what are you going to do now? I'm going to take a hold of it. Colin Margaret in 61, Colin in 63. They were born in the time that they were graded. Margaret was 116th and Colin was 114th of the Aboriginal. So had I had all my kids before that era finished, they would have all been graded. Graded like they grade fowl, they you know, bloody ridiculous. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
for that. Fifteen minutes, I don't mind body, it won't take that away. But that happened a lot in those days, you know, where they just came and they took people, away, you know, kids away from their parents because they didn't have a family, you know. They told them all this bullshit, you know. And I mean, you know, those concepts were strong and stuck themselves, and they just walked all over them and put their kids away. Good day, lad. Had a long trip? Fine. Oh, yeah. Right down on the way. Sit down. You must be tired. Had a phone call from your sister. She said you'd probably be here for two, so you might have got you some tucker. It's in the oven. <laughs> yeah, you better have a go at it. You know what your mother's like. living in the same flat? No, I moved there a few months ago. Where are you living now? I lived in the house with a few of the guys in the band. Not very well, keen on the way you keep moving around, Les. You're going to get yourself in strife, you know. Some of those boys are pretty wild. Uh, I think I know who I lived in the house with. They're all right, cool. You know your mother and I always back here. Yeah, yeah well. I had a feed on the way up here. I've got a truckload of gear and a truck there, and I've got to take it up the West Coast the first thing in the morning. That means you won't be here for lunch then. Your mother will be very upset, you know. Oh, well, it's my job. So I need some shallots. Don't forget to see her first thing in the morning.
Yeah. Yeah. We agree, huh? Yeah. Take it in. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you wake up. Take a train. Okay. Hell. You've got a home bag and someone else is there. Not so bad, here is what you want when you come here yesterday. No. In trouble. What sort? Oh, you know. You been through that? No, I've had problems. I've had trouble. No, I've been sort of trouble. Yeah. Well, what, what's happening? Did you split up? No. Stay on bars. Locked away. Mm. Who was? No. Haven't been seen, that's all. Oh. You know, like I was telling them fellas last night, about that exemption bit. When I was married. They classed me as a white, because I married a white man. I was separated from mum, my mother and my brother and my sister. And I, when I used to get depressed or lonely, I'd sit down and I'd write and write and write. And then I felt I was close to them. Oh, I don't know what we're going to do. You work, you've probably been busy with your work. Yeah. I'm not work. Okay. So that takes up a lot of your time. Mm. 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 Anyway, I better go and get me. Yeah, wake him up. Yeah. Take me out there and wait to see him. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Yeah. You must say hello for me. Yeah. I don't know him, but say hello for me. Yeah, okay. I'll see you later, Aunt. I'll get an idea. Why? Coming here or what? Mm, no, I'll be all right. Sure? Yeah. I'd like to see Mr. Larry Brady, please. Larry Brady? You related to him? Yes, I'm his girlfriend. Working. Working. 
Come on, have a drink. What's wrong with you? Hey, Mick, strike that bastard up. Bastard now! Mongol car? Have a look. Have a look, Gage. But they work. Bloody bastard over things. Buggered, we walk. Leave the bastard. Hey, Shane, wake up. Wake up. We don't walk, bud. Can't. Grab your swag. Let's walk. That mongrel old bastard's ripped us off for all that friggin' money, and then they give us this old bomb. Bloody thing don't even go. Bloody bastard over car. Come on, we gotta walk. Leave it, it's bugged. No good. That old bastard ripped us off. We've been working for him for six months, and he gave us this rotten shit. Come on. Bastard over stinking car, it's like him too. Give it up. Come on. Ansel! Ansel, you bloody black bastard. Where the hell have you been? We've been waiting here two whole days to start mustering. That's right, old you. car broke down. What's wrong with the car now? It's stuck. Well, if you looked after the car instead of having your cousins in the thing all the time, it'd been all right. You damn will leave my cousins out of it, mate. That old bomb's not bloody worth shit. There's nothing wrong with the car. It's quite a good motor ah, car. Ah, bullshit. It's the way you drive it. Bullshit. Friggin' car, friggin' see duck back along the road there. Well, as I said, if you hadn't Anyway, got you owe us... You owe us bloody money. What for? Bloody six months' work. That's not worth bloody... That bloody old car there? There's nothing wrong with ah, the car, bloody. boy. If, if, if you hadn't got all your half-caste bastards and mates... Don't you bloody start right. that, mate. You bloody... Either you bloody pay us $90 a week or we're bloody going. That's it. I'm, you I'm bloody ripping us off. Dollars. I'm not paying anybody $90 you a week, fella. you start, mate, or we'll... Now, we'll blacklist you. We'll blacklist you. Don't you ever blacklist me. <laughs> he goes them all the horses. <laughs> Okay, let's go have a coffee. You have a chance, you better on it? Well, come on, man. Three miles later. Yeah. I wonder how good one is at riding. He's always mouthing off how good he is. I'll tell you what. <laughs> <laughs> we can go and nominate him, entry him in for a ride. No, we've got that gig tonight. We'll be late for that. No, no, just for a stir. I just want to see the expression on his face. Just when the bloke announced it over the PA. You reckon we should do that? Why not? Stir him up. Yeah, right. Okay, let's we'll go now. Let's we'll go there. Come on, then. Come on, then. Come on, Ron Ansell, please come to the shoots. Ron Ansell to the shoots, please. Do you do that? Okay, this is a I'm going to
Get down and grab one, eh? I'm going to take it. Okay. What you got there? Hey? What you got there? Nothing. Wanna feed? Feed away. Lizard? Yeah. No. Nah. Oh. Well, I'm gonna go and clean them out. We can start. You know any of these fellas? Kelly, that name sounds familiar. Yeah, I think I heard it. Matt Kelly, isn't it? There's somebody out of the mission, I think that know this name. Who? Oh, one old fella, he just that knows everybody. Yeah? Yeah. That's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. They might be able to help you here. Yeah, I'm there, I had a rock and... I had a rock and... No, I had a rock and... rock that much that they bring the police there and you got trouble with the cops then. The cops because of the live music or whatever. You know, when they they come whether you like it or not. And right then. Well, you're always going to be prepared to handle it. They always ran with blackfellas having a turnout. Thieves everywhere. And what do you do? Blackfellas get together? Trouble. Cops everywhere. And we are. Right, but who's going to be responsible for controlling the situation? <laughs> who does? Who, who can? Well, that's, you know, that's for the committee to decide. Now, whether they're still going to have the van, or whether the they're going to even turn up. You've got a few people going to turn up. They'll turn up. They'll turn up. They'll turn up. What are you going to do then? They'll be here. Well, they'll turn because they, they said they'd turn and they'll turn up here. And there's, there's, so there's no two way. And they, you reckon Carol's going to let those on people? Never. Get the truck. What you got in this bloody heat? And the food. Give us a look. Where you buy it? Buy it from the car. Where'd you get the money? Work for it. What sort of work? Farm work. What's going on here? <sighs> Nothing, they might want to just go back to your car. Come on, please. Please, please. Thank you. What's going on? Nothing. I'm just going back and sit in your car. You're in this band, are you? Yeah. You're driving this car. I am. Got a license? Yeah, it's in the car. I'll get it. Just stay right there, fella. What's your name? What's your name? Now, come on, Shambo, don't get cheeky. Just tell me your name. Tell me your name. Ronnie, is it? All right. Ronnie what? Ansel. Ronnie Ansel. Okay, Ronnie Ansel. Where do you live? 
Non sarà. Non è giù, sono di sé. Mi vuoi di fare niente? Non penso. Eh? Ci vuoi dire? Sì. Well, look, you give him a hand over there. You too, girlie, and we'll check out the line. Come on. Yes, sir. This is your gear, is it? Yeah. I see. Well, why don't you go and give him a hand and take it off the truck? Now, what's your name? Oh, fella, you want your gear? Hey, watch hand. it, mate. Hey, Ronnie, Ronnie, that's enough. You're going to look for a pinch. Trying to get yourself into trouble? Mm -hmm. So. Well, you're going to get in the trouble if you start messing around with blokes like that, aren't you? Why? Well, you don't want to go messing around with blokes like that. Hey, listen, what have they ever done? Huh? What have they, what have they done, anyway? You would have pulled them up. It's cool in trouble, aren't they? And what are you going to get you? What are you calling blokes? Well, they are, aren't they? What's you reckon? Over 52 Sussex Street, North Bay. It's written down there, you can read it. What's your date of birth? 161156. Well, you shouldn't go and get yourself in strife with these fellas. Well, listen, they're my brothers. Yeah. Shut up, I'm black as well, you know. Don't give me that shit. Well, what you like. Go ahead. That's what I'm doing with them. Just your mug, you know. Get yourself in a strife, mate. Oh, it's a little opinion. You've got black testers. I'll blow in a bag for you. Yeah, what are these bottles here, then, you haven't been drinking? It's been a long time. They've been there for... Half an hour, eh? You can see the car hasn't been clean for ages. Well, What's wrong with the truck? And it's nick or not, isn't it? It's a good nick, mate. Don't worry about it. It's a story. You've got anything better to do with your time, officer? Yeah, who's mate? That's the way you earn your money. Who's it registered under? You like capital numbers all the time, don't you? Bloody oath, yeah. I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where'd you buy it? Let me pull some of this stuff here out. Here's that guitar up there. That's Ronnie's. It's Ronnie's, is it? Yeah, let's go and have a look at the truck then, mate. Yeah, true third, buddy. No, oh, he's a pig, that's all he is. You shut your filthy black mouth or you'll go. I won't stop my mouth for you or anybody else. You will or you'll go, you little Yeah, you're all talking, no action. Black yeah, that's right, that's right, pig. So what you think is going on around here? Oh, you know, good afternoon. Yeah, no, I'm going to check on a red truck. RYG487. Come on, Sambo. I thought I told you to get the stuff off the truck. Can you get it out of you and look at it? Don't give me any lip. Just get the stuff off the truck. You won't. Find out. He can do it all himself. He's an educated man. Well, just leave right out. Why away, will you? Well, thanks for following the drink. Push me, stay out of town. Hold her off, lay your head off. Oh. Get all that bloody gear back in that van now! Now get in your car and piss off!
Well, there's nothing we can do to help you, I'm afraid. Listen, I've been down here before to bail, boys, huh? Yeah, but it wasn't on a, assaulting a police officer, Mrs. Whitney. Mm. We, we can't help you, I'm afraid. Well, we'll listen, I'll go up to the Aboriginal Legal Rights Office. They should have, you know, be able to tell me anyways what I can do. <coughs> We've got a lot of people coming here tonight. Well, I don't know. Records? You've got to be kidding. These fellas are not going to pay money to come and listen to records. They want to see a live uh, band on the stage. Nothing much. I can do about it. Aren't you from No Fixed Address? Oh, yeah. Where's your band? You were coming up with us, Mob, weren't you? Yeah, well, they had a bit of hassle the other night. But we've got half a band here. Not even half a band. Well, someone's going down there to bail them out. Who's going to provide music in between times? Well, not me, anyway. Well, I told my committee you thought it was useless, but now they would insist that you were reliable. That you should do that. I think it's proof that I'm right. I'll never hire another black man again. I'll hire a white man. I need that to get here. <laughs> <laughs> Because you're gonna play, I'll stop the locked up. Or what happened? I'll tell you up there, Colin, let's hurry up. Who's up there now? Everybody's waiting. Come on, let's go. You got any money? I don't know. I've got no money. Come on, let's go.
Okay, then. Yeah, coppers knock you around. Okay. Yeah. 
Why? 